In this video, you have officially been indoctrinated into the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tournament arc. Definitely like and subscribe because this is going to be one of the greatest battle championships of all time. Me and a close friend of mine, Briggs, from the channel Briggs and the Twitch stream Briggs88, will be opening 24 virtual packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! cards once a week from new packs in consecutive order, starting with Legend of Blue Eyes, and every week a new pack gets included into our pool of where we're allowed to get 24 packs from. All these cards in the 24 packs worth of cards get added into our virtual collections where we load up the cards in DuelingBook.com and we duel. Basically, whoever wins this tournament is the official king of games. I actually got this idea from Simo. I'm gonna link him in the description as well. He did this Yu-Gi-Oh! progression series kind of thing, and well, I figured it would be a fun idea to do. So I'm gonna be streaming this once a week on my main channel and uploading this once a week on this channel. Subscribe to Nuxanor right now for future shiz. The hype is real. We're gonna be gaming hard, boys. And yeah, both of us take gaming very seriously. So like, this is gonna be actual anime style duels. When one of us activates a trap card, the goddamn country is gonna shudder from our flipping it on our virtual tables. It's gonna be epic, hell yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the video! Yo, welcome all to the newest episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression series today, Phantom Darkness! This is a legendary pack. It introduced the most game-breaking, meta-defining piece of trash card of all time. Dad. That took over the entire meta game for months. Months where everyone was just playing. Well, Dad is, wait for it. A secret on. rare, one of seven, or one of nine, I lied, one of nine secret dead. rares. Yeah, this card is absolutely insane. If any of us gets it, they immediately, ha that player has the better card pool. Like, literally, that if this one card is so game-breaking, it's disgusting. Low-key, I hope neither of us pull it. <laughs> <laughs> By having exactly three dark monsters in your graveyard, you can banish one dark monster from your graveyard, then target one card on the field, destroy that target. So you have three darks in your graveyard, you slap this bastard down, you blow up three things on the field basically for free, and that's pretty much game at that point. Like, this card is absolutely insane. So you just also, keep on banishing a dark and killing a monster, and then attack. A card, not just a monster. Oh my god. It's absolutely bonkers. This card is gross. I hate it so much. I have one in real life, and my friends hated it. <laughs> anyway! Of course you did. Of course you did. <laughs> so, uh, no, but I only got it later. I got it after it was, like, reprinted as, like, uh, a super and some, like, promo. I never got the secret. So you have to have exactly three, though, is the thing. Yeah. So if you have four or two, it doesn't work. So wait. You have exactly three, you slap him down, you win the game. And the rest of the pack just has a ton of crazy support for dark monsters, some cybers, and has the U-Bells, which are basically unusable. It has some gladiator support, although truth be told, not all that much. And that is mostly it. It's just basically, this is the dad pack. You ready, ready to open some packs and duel? I'm ready, bro, let's get it. I love you, you. Let's get it. I love Yu-Gi-Oh too, it's so good. It's, it's a good time. Before jumping right into it this time, allow me to update you. My recording crashed, so you're gonna be watching the duels from this episode from Briggs's perspective, and I'll run you by what happened in my card opening and deck making, so you didn't really miss anything important. Sorry for the tech issues, but we love that we're still being consistent with this series. Leave a like and subscribe because the next episode is coming soon, and it's the finale of GX. First things first, I planned on not pulling a Dark Arm Dragon because it's just too damn rare. So I'm not wanna, gonna put all my eggs in that basket. I saw how it worked out with Cyber Dragon for the entirety of the series. So I decided to start opening Gladiator's Assault Packs to get that Gladiator Beast Laquari and Gladiator Beast Mermillo that I so sorely was missing in the last episode. That took 10 packs. So 10 packs went to Gladiator's Assault. I got those two babies that I wanted and that allowed me to put together this Gladiator Beast deck. I added a Sangan, I put in a Laquari, I put in a Mermello, and things get crazy because in the next 14 packs that I opened, which were all Phantom Darkness, I managed to pull double tag teams, which are common, so that's pretty sick, and Dariuses, which are common, so that's pretty sick. So that's kind of how this deck all came together. I got an ultra rare Vampire's Curse as well, which kind of sucks, so I'll probably never use it, but I put it in the side deck because I'm awesome. And I decided to build the side deck to side into a tribute-based deck where I can have Wind Effigies so that I can use that with Icarus Attack. 
Vanity's Fiend so no one can special summon. Keep getting uh, Mother Grizzlies to get destroyed so I can keep summoning out Treeborn Frog so that when that dies, it comes back every turn and I contribute it off for Rises and for Vanity's Fiends. Basically, this was the crazy side deck idea that I had that I might need to use for game two or three. You'll see in the games. Also, fun fact, the pulls from Phantom Darkness did not get me dead, but I did pull, like, all the rares that I wanted, which is kind of great. Like, I got three Lone Fire Blossoms, which will come in handy at some point. Gamers, let's just jump right into it. All right, we're going to choose set. Are you guys ready? All right, boys, the plan is simple. 24 packs into Phantom Darkness. We're trying to pull dead. A couple Dariuses or other glad beasts would be nice. And that's it. We go for it, boys. Imagine first card, dead. Um, what is this? Gladiator, Beast, and Dull. Oh, just a 1900 glad. Rainbow Life. Dad, you just come home. You went for milk. Just come home. Man, this common looks super cool. Ultra Rare Vampire Curse. Is it a secret rare? Is that a secret rare? Cyber Ouroboros. We got Archfiend's Arch Shield. Oh my god, I can't even speak today. Ultra Rare, Allure of Darkness. Draw two cards and banish one dark monster from your hand, or or if you do not have any in your hand, send your entire hand to the graveyard. Oh, I thought I got it for a second there. Okay, I got a Darius, which is good, but we also got a Legendary Fiend. Once returned during your standby phase, this card gains 700 attack. Ooh, okay. And we got... A Dark Horus. Once per turn, after resolving a spell card that was activated during your opponent's main phase. Okay, that sucks. Hate Buster. I think I got one Daria so far. We got another fucking Andal. We're at 12 already. I'm waiting for Dad. Ultimate Rare. Okay, I got Dark Eyes Illusionist, but I also got whatever the fuck this is. Super Ancient Deep Sea King. One Punch Man about to fuck this kid up. Proving Ground, nice. Darius, huge, we needed that. I think we're good on that now. Yeah, let's like imagine this card right here or this card right here is dead. Or dead, Sedge. I really hope Nux doesn't pull it. I'm okay with neither of us pulling it. Legendary Fiend. All right, we're flying through these packs. Very chill pack opening. Ready? Oh, super rare Volcanic Counter. I really hope Nux doesn't pull it. It's really difficult. He can't even get a Cyber Dragon. He's gonna get a fucking dead. The beginning of the end, ultimate rare. That could have been dead, right? Or is that a secret? Is that a secret? We'll still might do Yu-Gi-Oh tomorrow. All right, no luck on the dad department. I feel like maybe once I got what I needed, I could have went back and tried to get a Lycorius. But you know what? It's fine. Let's read what Darius does. When this card is special summoned, by the effect of a gladiator beast monster, you can target one gladiator beast monster in your graveyard, special summon that target, but its effect is negated by this card. And it is shuffled into the deck when this card leaves the field. At the end of the battle phase, if this card was if this card attacked or was attacked, you can shuffle in, it into the deck, special summon one gladiator beast monster from your deck except gladiator beast Darius. Oh, so it's just a special summon. That's sick. So last week we pretty much used this deck. Ish. Glad's a lot of fun, I must say. Honestly, I think I'd rather go back to my other deck. You don't su suggest Glad's again? No, I'm, I'm definitely running Glad's. We won with it. I think Nox is gonna run it too. All right, in this deck, we have a Cyber Dragon, three Bistari, two Darius, which special summons, D Dimakari, which attacks twice. This boy, he's a big defensive boy. We got three of those. We're running two Mermillos, one Secutor, which I'm dropping from the deck. Fuck that guy. Two test apes, which help me um, special summon one level four or lower ladder beast monster from your deck. One destroyed. My monarch boy. Two souks. A creature swap. Two glad uh, manicas. Gladiator provoking ground. Add one level four or lower ladder beast monster from your deck to your hand. Huge. It's a beautiful filler card. Premature burial. Two rush. Three smash. Call of the haunted. Force back. Two Icarus in combination with my monarch and my Bastari. Two for um, karma cuts and two and two Sakuretsus. So now it would have been great to have a Lequarius here for sure. We could run a third one of the Gladiator Proving Ground. We could run a third one of those. Allure of Darkness. Draw two cards and banish one dark monster from your hand. Dark World Grimoire. Interesting. Yeah, I think I'm gonna run three, three gra Glad Proving Grounds. When this card is sent to the graveyard, because the equipped monster you controlled was shuffled into your deck, return this card to your hand. I mean, that's pretty huge. That's pretty much Battle Manica, no? But isn't it Battle Manica just, just better? Equip only to a Gladiator Beast monster. It cannot be destroyed by battle. Damage calculation is applied normally. When this equipped 
When the equipped monster is returned from your side of the field to the deck and this card is sent to the graveyard, return this card to your hand. It protects from all destruction, not just battles, so it's debatable since it sacks itself. Uh, I think I like it though, because then I can quickly dump a card, dump an attack, not have my guy be destroyed, bring in a Mermillo or a Bastari for, for monster or back row. We don't have Pot of Greed in this deck, what the fuck? Or Upstart. We could get rid of another Gladiator Proving Ground for another Upstart, but I like the Gladiator Proving Grounds. I think I want to run it at three. I think the deck looks good. So let me just reorganize this shit. We're running 19 monsters. Although, fuck, we have only one upstart, one pot. I could get one of these away, but these are just filler cards. These just get me a monster, which is sick. I think this deck is looking fucking fantastic, I must say. Do we really need to run Suk at two? Suk runs over Bistari, Suk runs over Darius, Suk runs over Dimakari. No, it doesn't run over Dimakari. Yeah, Suk is honestly fucking solid, dude. It's such a good out. But like, I have so many cards to get rid of monsters here. I got my two Sakuretsu, my two Karma Cuts, my two Icarus, my Force Back, my three Smashing. We run a Suk, we get rid of an Upstart. I think that's the deck. This is the golden deck, boys. One day, working from home. Two days. Are you ready for another Clash of the Titans? Another Battle of the Brawn? Damn it. <laughs> You see, I'm coming into this battle. Not worrying about the brawn, my gladiator beasts are all intellectuals. However, your Cloudians are airheads. Oh baby, time for some Cloudian beatdown, baby! Actually. <laughs> Maybe, I'm not telling you. All right, but you're about to get some Cloudian keister. The issue here is obvious, the heavy storm. So I can't set all of my cards. <laughs> <laughs> Play it safer. You're up. Let's go. Let's go. Little bit of defensive. All right. I'm going to activate Gladiator Proving Ground. Oh, you're still on glads. Oh, God. Here we go. To grab myself right. a glad here. Which one? Hmm. They're all kind of the same. <laughs> they are. I'm just trying to think of which one I should grab. Oh, God. This is in this sad. scenario. I think I'm going to go with this boy. I got one of these. I didn't mean to summon it. Fuck. You put it in your hand. Yeah. yeah Darius. He's one of the new boys. He's, He's a new a boy. One. Yeah. He's a good one. But I do get a, a special summon. Wait, why? <laughs> <Yeah>. oh! <laughs> Wait, no. Oh my god, that ruins everything. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to bottomless him. Wow. Alright. Oh my god, I cannot believe you had Cyber Dragon. I literally. Oh, this is so unfortunate. I'm gonna toss my Darius on the field. Alright, here we go. Here we go. It's time. And in my battle phase, I will attack. All right, looks like we're each getting an effect here. Ooh, he's on glads too, boys. It's another glad. It's a glad rematch. You Fuck. take 400 damage. Okay. And your turn player, so you go first. So this goes to my deck. Can we get our boy in here? For how? How do the, How do we know how? Do we both get the effects if we were to? If I were, if I were to summon Mermillo, do I get the effect on the monster you're going to summon? I honestly wish we had Stevie. Stevie, join for a Stevie! second. Just... Yeah. So, uh, Chainlink One, uh, Darius, Chainlink Two, Hopplemus. They'll both bounce each other. They'll both bounce themselves back. Okay. And then summon whatever guy. And then if you have an on summon effect, that'll happen in a new chain. So say you summon a Mermillo, Nux summons like a Darius of his own. Mermillo will trigger on the new chain to pop a guy. Okay. But then if, let's say, I also summon a Mermillo, which then, I yeah, you, in my We pop uh, each other. Yeah, you chain link to Mermillo. You would chain link to your own Mermillo. Okay, so this currently goes to my shoot each other. So now I also pick a guy which is about to get destroyed, correct? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, okay, Briggs could pop his own fish if he wants I mean, to. Yeah, he could do that, I guess. So yeah. my pick is kind of irrelevant, right? All right, I'm gonna pick, <laughs> I suppose, Gladiator to be Spartacus, because when it's summoned, I can add a equip card from my deck to my hand. And then you destroy him. And then the I academic destroy you. Zone. I will set two cards. Okay. And end my turn. All right, I will draw. Okay, baby. It's time for some fun. I'm going to normal summon a card that you've never seen me own before. Are you ready? Oh, no. It's Vermillo. Oh, you've got a Vermillo, boys. <laughs> so you went Battle back. Battle phase time. Attack. I think I am going to keep the aggression here. Um, so my guy would just die. Kind of tragic. Yes, sir. Uh, main two. I'm gonna have to start defending myself as well here, it seems. And it is your move. Looks like another victory of Glads is kind of headed your way. All right, I'm gonna put this boy into attack mode. I didn't have a Mermillo in my deck. I drew him. <laughs> <I wanted the laughs> this Mermillo is so sad. <laughs> I 
have the worst luck ever. Yeah, I, I had a feeling once you summoned your Bermillo, I'm like, he only has one. <laughs> I only have one. All right, I'm going to summon my Sangen, and then both my boys are going to attack. All right, so I will take the 1,800 here. And then this triggers my thing, my Mermillo, and I will All grab right, myself no, another wait, 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 card. Okay. Ponder a moment. I'll leave it on the field then. I am going to have some fun here, it seems. I have no choice but to have fun. Actually, do you mind if I book a moon in before I took the 800 damage? I mean, you're allowed to, right? It's a quick effect? Yeah. Gotta right, go for it. So my guy got okay. set, is what you're so saying. this guy's set. Yeah. Okay. Moon. This is so unfortunate. Okay, in that case, I will... You take the thousand, and I will end my turn. Dope. I draw... It was not good. I really want Mermillo to be gone. That is the issue here. All right, I am going to summon Sangan. <laughs> and I'm going to attack Vermillo. Nice. Not another Sakuretsu, please. Thank God. Okay, sweet. You're up. Ooh, our decks are kind of similar, aren't they? Very. <laughs> kind of annoying. I know what I'm going to do here. I wonder what your face down is, is the question. All I right. too wonder what my face down is. I'm going to normal summon Sook okay. and set your Sangan. I wonder if I just throw out all my marbles. I don't know what your face down is here. Who knows? You know what? Oh, no. I'm gonna play it safe for now, and I am going to run over your Sangen with my Sangen. He dies. You get the and card. I get to add something. Wow, all the glads are too high. Not all um, the glads. You could grab Mermillo. Oh, wait, you only have one. He's dead! <laughs> I mean, be, be starry. I yeah, know, but he sucks. All right, whatever. I guess I have no choice. I, in my battle phase, will activate <laughs> Call of the Haunted Yep. on Mermillo and, to and toss an attacky boy. Let me think, let me think, let me think. God damn it, why are there so much thinking with these glads? Okay, that makes things a lot more complicated than I would have wanted. What do you do? You switch him out, you take your guy, you pop my face down. But I think I have no choice but to use Royal Oppression. Ooh. And I'll pay 800 life points to negate the summon of Mermilla. Okay. Not, like, call the haunted summon, so I negate it. Wait, is call the haunted down the field? No, it's destroyed. Okay. Because I destroyed Mermilla. It was never summoned. I negate the summon and destroy it. Oh, That's okay. Good. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Um, I will set a card and end my turn. All right, so Sook goes back to your hand, I believe. Uh, did you take 1100 from Sook? Oh, no, I did not. Okay. And Sook goes back to my hand. Hey, let's go! Something good! Well, it, was, it wasn't good, but it was something. Uh, so I guess that's decent. So the issue here is obvious, and that is I have royal oppression. This is a problem. <laughs> because now I can't summon anything. And what, what's your hand, Sook? All right, so I am going to use Gladiator's Proving Ground. It may seem like a little bit of a sus choice, but in my mind, it's genius. Can I take Dimakari? <laughs> and I will summon him. Um, I'm going to force him back. Okay. I am going to end my turn. Come on, RNG. Let's go. Huge. Dude, am... pack is actually kind of good. I've never been using them, but they're actually good. I only have one, but I like it. At least with these type of decks. Kai would need to try to maintain control and get attacks yeah. on no one. Seems to be working. All right. And I'm going to attack with yeah. both monsters. All right, I'll take the 2700. And unfortunately, I cannot activate the effect. So You could. I could just negate it. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to make you use that 800 points. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Sounds good to me. Uh, all right, and then I'll end my turn. Dope. I will draw. When the that oppression is, is royal. The oppression is so royal right now, man. It's crazy. Kind of messed up. All right, I'm going to set and then... I think I'm going to chill for now. And actually, that's probably a Hoplomus. I'd wait. Did he grab a Demacardi with his Proving Ground? I cannot remember. What I'm going to do is I'm going to true nade your oppression. I am going to okay. attack your face down with my Demacar- Hoplamoos! Yes. Take 400, bitch! Yo, all the damage you took so far at this game was attacking <laughs> two Hoplamoos. I had a feeling it was the Hoplamoos, but now that you don't have that card, I will send this to my deck. Are you going to activate your effect? Of course. I'm grabbing a Mermillo. Okay, so what was the point of me activating my effect again? If you want another card in your graveyard, other than Hoplamoos. I will take- Darius. Okay. And Darius, so you pop Darius, but yes. Darius also is effect activates and special summons a gladiator beast from a grave. Ooh, smart. So I guess that's, Marmillo's the, literally the you only You can only choice. do Marmillo because Wait, Spartacus. can I do Darius himself? 
Uh, I don't you know. Because you pop Darius, can I just do Darius? Because the effect activates after Darius is in the graveyard. Uh, <laughs> Stevie! Stevie! <laughs> Steve! Stevie! So, ah. Twitch chat says no, and they are very reliable. I don't want to bother him. Whatever, I guess I'll just take Mermillo just to, for Stevie's sanity's sake. Does Darius need to be on the field for you to get the effect? No, I definitely, we asked him that last time. I definitely get the effect. Mm. Okay, whatever, I guess I'll do Mermillo. Oh, it says yeah. literally special someone except... Gladiator oh, Beast Darius, I think. Special summon one Gladiator Beast monster does. from your deck. Oh, that's if you get that attack off. No, no, that's the second effect. The first effect is just special summon a Gladiator Beast monster. Okay, whatever. I'll take Mermillo. It's fine. I feel bad if, you're, if we're wrong. It's fine. It's okay. fine. It's good. So uh, you get Mermillo, and then in my battle phase... No, 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 no. Oh, battle wait. phase end. Oh, that's right. Right? It's at the end of the battle phase that the effects go. Sangin didn't attack. It would have attacked my Hoplomus. Mm. I had a Hoplomus. Yeah, defense, I attacked right? with Darius because I assumed you probably had... So now I can't attack. Oh, but I can in my main phase two. Correct. Smash and ground your boy. That is true. That can be done. I just don't want you to have monsters. I don't blame you. And then I'll end my turn. All right, dope. I will draw. Okay. The issue is if I kill Sangan, you add something. Right now your hand, if I remember correctly, is Tsuk. So if- Why is my chat saying Mermillo should be in the deck? I'm very confused. Shuffled into the deck when it leaves the field. They're right. So, it's in the deck. God, thank God for chat. Holy crap. When Darius leaves the field, Mermillo is shuffled into deck, which means oh. I still have my smashing ground. Okay, my bad. The amount of time I skimmed through that effect, I'm like, let me just read it once properly. I wouldn't have even summoned Darius if I would have known that that's what would happen. Well, you should have read, it, read your card, Max. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We'll, we'll leave it like this. All right, so the issue is simple. Whatever I do, you're going to kill with smashing ground. Okay, I have a plan. And it's Pog. Pog, as they say, this is how it's going to fly. I will begin by normal summoning a beast. I will summon Dimak. Wait, not Dimakari, right? <laughs> I will normal summon Gladiator Beast Bestiari. I keep forgetting all their effects. And then I will special summon from my hand the Test Tiger. Ooh, you have Test Tiger? I did get it this last week. It's a good but card. I didn't get to use it because they didn't draw any monsters. I then tribute. Test Tiger to shuffle this guy back into the deck to special summon a different creature from the deck. And the one I select is... No, don't tell me it's in the graveyard. Hold up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Are you looking for Spartacus? No, no Spartacus is I'm only from Hoplomus. For... Okay, thank God. <laughs> Dima God, Boogaloo! Oh, so you All can right. double attack me here. Nice. Yes, I can. Now, during the battle phase, I will double attack. Double schmack. I take 600. Double you take 600. You add for Sangin. All right, I need to think here of who I want to add. It's got to be 1500, so it could be this boy. Can't do that, unfortunately. All right, I think I have to do this. I think it literally only has to be like one card. Just has to be like Bestiary or Hoplomus. Right. Yep. Okay, sick. Main two comes along. Can I look at a card in my deck, please? <laughs> okay. Dude, this deck sucks. <laughs> This deck sucks, <laughs> dude. Whoa. Okay. The other issue is you have Tsuk, which could just kill anything. So I need to get something that can't be killed by Tsuk and can't be killed by... There's nothing like that. Nothing exists. That that does not exist. Honestly, it's not, not like even it, bad. It's not like you could set off your special summon. I know. I might as well just keep this guy. Dare you presume something so preposterous, Briggs. <laughs> I mean, if you want to bring a Beast Yari on a field, I'd be down for it. All right, whatever. I guess I'll just keep him on the field then. I kind of misplayed there, but whatever. I guess I'll set and I'll end. Boys, we're just gonna keep on going hard. I'm gonna Smashing ground. Heavy storm. Your oh, okay. trap card. We know what that is. Okay. I am gonna smash and ground your boy. He dead. I am going to gladiator beast be starry or best starry, like whatever the fuck his name is. Attack directly. Yep. And Mix I him in. will. Mix him in to grab myself a Darius, Please. who will then summon, special summon, I guess, to defense mode, a Mermillo. Great. I will then end my turn. All right, come on, something good. <laughs> I don't know if that's something good, but at least it's a card, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm going to start by summoning Gladiator Beast in Makari 2. <laughs> good just to tag. Mermillo. Who, I want, who do I even want to end this turn with on the field? He's sweating, boys. He's down to 900 life points. Yeah, I'm really not doing so hot right now. I guess uh, I guess I have to attack Mermillo here. Okay. 
Now I will shuffle him in. I don't really want to leave you with that guy. But I also don't want you to draw a smashing ground and just win the game. So I think the safest... No, that's not the safest play. That's insane. Okay, I guess I have no choice but to take Mermillo. Yeah, you have your Mermillo back because of the Darius effect. Oh, I know, it's crazy. Alright, well, this guy gets destroyed. I will set one. Bring me two. And I will end my turn. Come on, please don't draw anything good. Please! I'm gonna normal that starry. You just drew that! Yeah. That's not even fair! <laughs> what can I say? I'm a lucky guy. Okay. And then I will attack your boy. Yeah. And then big face down. No? Okay. Um, I'm gonna send this boy to the top of my deck. Oh, that, that's my hand. To the okay. top of my deck. Wait. And I will grab myself another you one, can't get the same one. one of these boys. Oh, yeah. Sure. I'll bring back another Darius. It's only oh, the I'm second monster. one. Give me a monster, please. And then I will end please. my turn. No monsters. A monster. No monsters. You gotta... Oh, it's a monster. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not a monster. And it's actually a good one. You never saw my gladiator beast, Laquan. Oh, he got one. Baby, I went back and opened 10 packs of gladiator's assault for this bitch. Holy fuck. He's in it, boys. He's Ooh. back. It's not, like, over yet at all all right but anyway laquari will attack the original darius killing both of killing them. both well killing one and shuffling the other one into your how deck, much do really? i take 100 100 other gets shuffled wow okay other gets shuffled me okay end of battle phase i will shuffle away laquari so here's the thing your hand right now is Tsuk still god damn it you know i'm playing around Tsuk the whole game i can't actually do anything because of Tsuk. it's actually like, a good card all all the gladiator beasts have low defenses yeah hoplomus Darius? Put my I summon Hoplomus and I activate my face down. Right. Double tag team! I activate when I special summon the Gladiator Beast Monster, special summon level 4 lower Gladiator Beast Monster from my hand or deck. So, wait, so, well, I forgot that that's a, like a rule thing. So we'll say I first summoned, I summoned the Darius from Laquari. So I get the effect of Darius off. Spartacus from the grave, I guess. You can't summon Spartacus. Oh, it's level 4 lower? One Gladiator Beast Monster. Oh, special summon one level 4 lower Gladiator Beast Monster. That's double tag team. Sorry, how, no. how are you getting this on the field? Okay, so I summon Darius with Laquari. But Darius can't summon Spartacus. You need to, you, he can only be sub special summoned from, oh, from Hoplobus. Right. My bad. Look okay, at me fucking Mar reading cards. Dude, that's actually crazy that you like reading cards. Uh, so I'm going to take Mermillo then. Because I'd like to have him back in my deck. I guess that's my turn. I'm gonna normal summon Sook. Right. Set Darius. This hmm. gets shuffled, right? I don't want you to have Mermillo back in your back in your deck. But I, I need to do it. Oh wait, okay. don't put Mermillo back on the field, I'm thinking. Ah! Alright, fine, fine. I'm I think I'm No, I'll put him back. I don't care. I'm just contemplating, maybe I just kill Mermillo here. But I can't. I need to kill your Darius. Okay. Yeah. Which gets rid of both so cards. Putting him back in the deck. I'm shuffling again. So he dies. This goes back to hand. Yes, so. Main phase two. I'm gonna set a card and end my turn. Alright, I'm gonna draw. Okay, that was a terrible draw. Um, this is kind of unfortunate. But I gotta play it safe here. And by safe, I mean attacking you. <laughs> <laughs> this is so insane. That's like a Sakuretsu armor I just lose. I'm gonna set and then. Ooh. Okay. Man's Got playing. Play this man's playing safe. Why is Mirbillo not shuffle? Why is Mirbillo not shuffle? I killed Darius. Was it because it was set? I uh, like, keep on looking at chat. They keep on like, I think we suck at playing Yu-Gi-Oh! At this point, <laughs> we need Stevie. I'm, I'm trying really hard, yeah. okay? So because Darius was set, Mermillo stays in your grave. It goes to grave. You don't get its effect. I don't know if that's true. No. Set makes it like it left the field, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm just reading chat. I, I think... Stevie. It definitely wouldn't go to grave. It would either stay on the field or go to deck. There's no grave option. That's, That's true. ridiculous. That's true. That's true. It's either field. So or... if you want to keep it on the field, I'm more than happy to do that. Actually, that I would just want to know what the, what the right rule is. I also do. It is shuffled into deck when this card leaves the field. All right, I'll message Stevie. Stevie, help. All right. <laughs> okay, so Stevie. What's welcome the ruling? Back. Well, all right. So this is what happened, basically. Ooh, buddy. Okay. Uh. Look at when this card leaves. Ooh, this card, Book of Moon. Ooh, I love this game. <laughs> uh, I believe once the Gladiator Beast Darius gets booked face down, because we have a precedent where if you Book of Moon a Darius, like uh, the Darius summon, it'll basically make the Mermillo forget how it was special. 
Uh, it's not like the best way. Yeah, but, uh, but he he did it on the Darius, not on the Mermillo. Yeah, I'm just trying to come up with whether or not whether or not the monster that Darius uh, summons remembers. I mean, has the effect applied to shuffle or Darius itself will shuffle it. I'm just for this instance, I'm just going to rule that it should stay on the board because that's how Book of Moon versus Darius works. Okay, Basically, so last yeah. turn, you took this guy, you attacked him, and he dies. My turn, I drew the card that I ended up setting, which I am not going to set instead. I'm going to do something else. Yeah. So it's currently my turn with this board and you took in your hand. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the Mermillo is case, still negated, but yeah. Mermillo is still negated. Okay. So I would have done something cooler. Yeah. I think I just fucked myself over, but whatever is the fair ruling is what we got to do. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's Darius that applies the effect to return it. It's not Mermillo re remembering it or the monster that. Okay, okay, okay. we so got it right. This, fine. <laughs> no, so then this is what I would do for my turn. I would start off with Cold Wave. Okay. We good? Mm -hmm. Um, I would then switch these two boys to attack, and um, I would attack with both of them. So that's 18, 1500. Back to the and, gulag for me. End of the battle phase, I would put this guy in, and I would pull out Laquari. Main phase two, I would normal summon Secutor. I would shuffle all three of them back into the deck to fusion summon no, Gladiator No, Secutor needs to attack, no? Oh! No, not for Heraclinos! What the fuck? I pulled this last week but couldn't summon it because I didn't what have a Laquari! What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. And it's your turn, which you already drew for. Oh, it's my turn. And when am I allowed to use my spells and traps? My next turn. And what does your card do? Uh, once per turn, uh, during either player's turn where spell or trap is activated, you can discard one card and get the activation, destroy it. Well, f fuck. Uh, that's not the right, that's not the card I wanted to set. So set a card in my turn for now. Oh, I draw. I cannot. Wait, I didn't shuffle my deck. Why? Let me, let me just mill the top. Yeah, this is, I, I just put all the fusion materials on the top okay. of my deck. <laughs> put those back in shuffle. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I draw for turn. Okay. So now spells and traps cannot, can be activated again. They can. You can. Battle phase, I'll attack. Um, I'm making middle card. I will discard Gladiator's Battle Manica. So the attack still happens. Yep. Oh, my Aplomos is so perfect. Sorry. Um, you still have that Sook. <laughs> so annoying. Sook boys. You can't get rid of it. So here's the thought process. If you draw Smashing Ground, I lose <laughs> it. If I, unless I keep this in my hand. I'm going to take the risk. Go. Not a smashing ground, right? <laughs> not this time. Not this Let's time. Let's go! Dude, I love Heraclinos. What a freaking card. I feel like this is the biggest boss monster summoned in the history of our series. <laughs> Other than Chaos Emperor Dragon. Other than Chaos Emperor Dragon. And I guess if only it was a smash. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to do this. I'm just going to set a card. Okay. And then my turn. Talk. Sweet. I'll draw. How do I keep drawing this card? <laughs> I'm not trying to get frustrated here, but... That is really frustrating. Battle phase time! Attack with Heraclinos. I killed my Sook! Uh, Sook will book the Heraclinos, by the way. No, I, I set my card. Oh. Oh, you're just gonna set itself. Whoops! No, no, I, I set Sook. And then he attacked it. Oh, when it was when it's flipped face up, Oh. Okay. Okay. Alright, in that case, I'll just end my turn, I guess, whatever. Is that how it works? I did not know that. I believe Stevie. Normal summon or flipped face up? But it was, it was killed. Does this count as flip face up? I guess so, right? All right. I guess you're not complaining, right? <laughs> this dude just sitting here. All right, I'm going to set a card. Normal summon. And... Okay. Wow, that's crazy, bro. I'm going to end turn. Ooh. And right, right. away, I'm going to activate Icarus right. attack. Okay, so I'm going to chain right. call the haunted um, to bring back, I guess, Sangen. Okay. So they die, and I get... A search off Sangen. Smart, smart. Guess I gotta do what I gotta do, right? I suppose I might as well take this guy. He's like my only choice. Oh no, I could have taken Hoplamoose. Hoplamoose. My boy. Big moose. See, chat, that is why I set my, my Stook. Because I pulled yeah, the Bustari. Um, I'm like, I still have Icarus. I, I am gonna take the Hoplamoose. Okay. That was, that was a really good play. Um, the Sook move actually destroyed me. Okay, so I suppose I will summon Dimakari and hit you for 16. Okay. 
And then at the end of the battle phase, I'm going to do something unprecedented in the history of the game. I'm going to summon a monster that you cannot kill with Smashing Ground. Gladiator Beast Alexander, unaffected by spells. Oh, shit. Wow. You're up, boy. Can you out this beast? Can you out this man? Please, not a premature burial. <laughs> oh, my God! What? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. How did you know? Every, That's wild. Every time. Every time. Now, this is a duel. Although, I don't okay. get the effects of... I can't really of... summon anything, though. You have nothing great, but... It just keeps me alive. I'll pay the 800. I don't... Obviously, I don't get the effects of my beast, but I can still special summon them, no? Who do you have on the field right now? Fucking... Alexander. It's gotta be in attack mode, right? Fuck. Yeah. I kind of didn't want to do Sangin. <laughs> Not a terrible play, but you but might lose. He, I lose to... Uh, he has a Beastari in his hand, so he attacks with Beastari and his 2400 boy, he wins. So I am going to grab... I, guess I can do Sangin to defense mode. No, I can't. He, no, it's attack can't. only. To attack, my bad. Um, right. I mean, no, 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 no. You might want Darius, bro. I think Darius just, is... Just because he's the beefiest. Yeah. Cheat and go Sook. <laughs> <laughs> Huge play. <laughs> Big Dude. brain. Big brain. Um, right. Yeah, I think that's really all I could do. And then I'll end my turn. I draw. I, I, my drawing luck is so bad. It's hilarious, to be honest. Um, I'm going to normal summon Gladiator Beast Mermillo. <laughs> okay. I'm going to attack with the first guy. So you take your 700 damage or whatever. Okie doke. Hit you for, 18, for 800. Okie doke. May, uh, end the battle phase, I will shuffle back Mermillo, but not Alexander. And I am going to take... You know, I guess I'll take Look for it. With 2100 attack. You're up. Well, Can it save you? It does not. This is all sad. What a crazy game! What a crazy game! Good game. GG's. Holy crap! That I even wild. got to summon Heraclito! That was wild. Oh my god. Bob, oh, there you are. Dude, we've been looking for you everywhere, dude. Have to do it's two in the morning. Ah! Game two. Ooh, well, I mean, I'm never going to complain when I start off with a pot of green. No! And could be better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to step one and end. Wow, that's that's actually kind of terrifying. Okay, Mr. Hoplamoose. <laughs> okay, first, I'm going to activate this. Nice. To grab myself a boy. Nice. Who will I grab? Probably... One of these. Sweet. I am going to summon Dimakari, and in my battle phase, I will attack your boy. Take your 500 pathetic no, damage! Oh no! Didn't see that one coming. All right, we will shuffle we to deck. Okay, do, do it. You first. Uh, it's non-turn player goes first. No, I swear. No. Turn player goes first. Oh, you know. So you get to see who I'm summoning. Yep. You ready to see something pathetic? Like something like so pathetic you will remember the patheticness of this for eternity? We're gonna mermillo each you, other. Are you ready to be surprised by how lame this is? See ya, chat, non turn player goes first. Fuck. I knew it. Wait, actually? Well, I'm sorry then. I did not mean Do to. Do your card that. first. It really doesn't matter. Do I you? might change my mind. Uh, in that case, I'm going to pick. You failed to realize I'm a glad be specialist. My initial name, that. my initial name on Twitch was Beastly Briggs. Oh, damn, son. <laughs> I was the first gladiator. I literally beast. have no choices here anyway. I guess I'll take Laquari. 2100 attack. You take Mermillo and kill him. Yep. Do we, okay. Just do it. Do you want to hear something pathetic? Yep. I drew Mermillo again. Oh, I no. I have one of them. He's in my hand every day, every damn game. I can't get rid of him. This is awesome. Anyway, you end your turn. Uh, I'm gonna set a card and then turn. The amount of times I've drawn this guy! God damn. <laughs> this is so annoying. I guess I can attack on my own Mermillo. <laughs> <laughs> sad, dude! That's, it's so sad! That's just pathetic. <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna summon Mermillo. Alright, I'm not allowing it! Get Mermillo out of the game! Alright, he's banned. Discard. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll discard that. Goodbye, Mermillo. Goodbye. Main two. Nah, you're up. Wow, I'm going to less than <laughs> premature burial. <laughs> no, this boy. I hate premature burial. Put this to attack mode. I have to pay 800 right. life points, mm -hmm. and then in my battle phase, without the threat of any cards on the field, I will attack you directly. Take the 25. Now, I'm definitely shuffling Mermillo. 
What happens when I shuffle Darius? Burial gets... Nothing. I can't... Wait. Bur Burial gets destroyed, though. Uh, yeah. I think I'm just gonna shuffle both. We're gonna go... One Demikari. And one Hoplumus, I think. Sounds I even, mean, like... Know why I'm doing these cards. I, I'm in the mood. What can I say? That makes sense. That makes sense. That's why they call you Beastly Briggs. You yeah. just know. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, uh... No Burial stays on field? What? Burial... It's an equip card. Only dies... Burial and I remember uh, premature burial. Burial and call the haunted is not the same. Different. Call They're the different. haunted would stay. This goes because it's an equipped card. The equipped card is gone, so it's dead. I think you're right. I just know one of them works differently than the other. Yes. Call the haunted stays. Call the haunted would have stayed. Okay. And in that case, I will end my turn. All right. Oh my God! What a bad draw. All right. You know what? All right. Let's have some fun. We're gonna, I'm gonna start sniping. Okay? I I'm killing both of them right now. I don't care if I have to use every <laughs> goddamn card in my hand. <laughs> I'm gonna start Treeborn Frog. Smart. Uh, this. Alright, give me a six. That's a six, baby! Woohoo! Ah, damn, every time! Alright, I'm not giving up. We keep going. Mother Grizzly. We go again. I'm feeling a one this time. Oh, it's a two. Oh, shut your face, Brig. Shut pain, your face, pain. Hold, bro. Ah. Are you gonna uh, go again? Like I really don't want to discard again, though. Oh. <laughs> we go again. Whoa. Another mother grizzly, because I drew All two right. of them. Pulled that. Nice, nice. Get the hell out of here! Malphase. Tag. No. How could yes. you? Today of all days. On the day of your daughter's wedding? The day of my daughter's wedding! Alright, main two. Eh, whatever. As long as you can't kill Snipe Hunter, the strongest card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, do I save these? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. <laughs> I am. I'm gonna. Yeah, just don't. I'm gonna spook your boy. What? Okay. And in my battle phase, I will attack you. Yeah. This will go to hand. And I'll have my turn. All right, let's go. Something good. I feel like that wasn't the move chat. <laughs> Standby phase rolls around, and something crazy happens. The treeborn frog descends to the field. Oh no. Because I have no spell traps. I then tribute the treeborn frog. For Vanity's Fiend! Oh, fuck. That's a good card for Glad Beast. Well, I would say so. Um, battle phase time attack, child! No. No. Anything but that. Yeah. All right. Main phase two rolls around. Crazy things start to happen. Yeah, they don't. I take it back. You're up. Smash the ground! <laughs> yeah, yeah. You saw it coming. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I should have souped last turn. I think I should have smashed and ground, attacked you, and got some boys on the field. Would have taken less damage. All right, I'm going to activate Gladiator Boy. You just draw that. Yeah. To grab this guy that I will... Wait. Hmm. No. I'm going to summon a Bistari. No, you're going to add it to your hand. I add it to my hand, then I summon it, and then I attack you for 1,500. Yeah. And then it goes to my deck. And then I grab myself a... Darius, who will then summon a Demikari. Let's go, big I turn! I wasn't paying attention, but I'm gonna make believe that that all makes sense. We keep going, my turn now. And now it is uh, your turn, my friend. Sick, I draw. During the standby phase, the tree born no, frog No, not returns. the tree of frog, anything but I the tree of frog. I tribute summon the tree born frog, Ariza! Motherfucker with the tribute fun summons off the frog. Well played. All right. Maybe. All right. So we we'll obviously we put Darius. So yes. this goes back to your deck. To the top of deck. Battle phase time. Attack directly, Monarch Man. No. Not looking good, bro. It really. Four hundred meager life points. I will set a card and call it a turn. What you gonna do, Briggs? Heavy storm. Get the fuck out of here. The fuck I chain call of the haunted to special summon from my graveyard. Treeborn uh, frog, you don't have a sangin in there. I know. I was looking to see if I had a sangin. I don't. Okay. All right. I will then smash and ground. <laughs> oh my god! Every time. Every single time, baby. And then I'm gonna normal summon Hoplimus to attack you for 700. Right, he goes back to the deck, and then I will summon okay. off of Hoplimus. Another, wait, do I not have one? I do have one other Darius, who then summons... Oh, God, stop, please, be merciful. This boy to defense mode. <laughs> and now I'm my turn. Come on, something big, something big, something level six. <laughs> not level six. Uh, but I am going to summon back Treeborn Frog just because I can. True, true. Um, <laughs> do I risk it for the biscuit? Or play it safe? All right, two and three chance I just win the game right now. Um, I'm going to summon this 
Oh my We're god. We're gambling, baby. We're He's gambling. a gamble boy. If this kills Darius, I win. Literally. If Darius yeah, dies, true. True. I win the game. I That's discard true. Hoplimus. We're rolling a dice. If it's a one, you probably win the game. If it's a two, three, four, or five, I win the game. If it's a six, the ball is back in your court. Are you ready? Are you a gambling oh. man, child? Are you prepared for Darius to fall to the whims of fate? I'm a degenerate. Give me it. No! Let's go! Let's go! And Hoplimus goes back to the deck. Take 1,500 damage! I sideboarded into an entirely different deck. Well Let's played. go! Well played, well played. The oh week my god. Is mine! Fuck! Holy crap, that was terrifying. I get my three goddamn packs and I'm going to open them with glee. Okay? <laughs> So there's some good out. duels. Oh my god, glass. Those glad, were sick. Glad beasts are unreal. I, they're so fun. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pack opener time! Three packs of the Phantom Darkness. Let's get something sick! Are you ready, Briggs? Yeah, I'm ready. Pack number one! Dude. This is my second dude. Doomsday Horror. Why, when I saw Doomsday, Doomsday Horror, like, for a second I thought it was that, I was about to flip out. Fires of Doomsday is pretty trash. But Doomsday Horror... Okay, this pack was absolute ass. Did you use any of these? I, I did not. not. I sided with like one. They are so bad. All right. All right, pack number two. Let's get a dad. You ready? First, we'll just flip these stupid ones. Please, no. Your dad's never coming back, bro. Ready? He, he went out for milk. My second dark illusion. It's kind of bad. <laughs> okay. Final pack. Are we going to get something of note? Something useful? We'll do one card at a time to make it fun. Fine. Discard two cards. That's the whole card. <laughs> This is okay. fine. Super polymerization for the Ooh. rare. Did, did you pull any of those? Uh, I actually don't even know. Alright. Hey, I got, Super a, I, got though, a, I got I got one of those. We take battle damage, this card is in the graveyard, banish in the graveyard, and then is there a fire other than this inflict Oh that's trash. Holy that crap. fucking that's sucks. Really bad card. Yo, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. God damn it, I upload two videos a day, and they're funny. They'll help you take your mind off the miserable existence we all live in. These videos are all streamed live on my Nuxtaku Twitch channel, which is also linked in the description. And gamers, I have been helped out a lot by G Fuel, so if you enter code NUX to get yourself 10 to 30% off your G Fuel order, it is a great extra cool energy drink that's zero calorie, it tastes good, and God damn, it supports your boy. So feel free to pick some up. They've been super helpful and I very much appreciate them. And you twisted my arm, 5,000 subscribers on Twitch and I will do No One Understands Zoro as a two hour big mega chungus live stream. <sighs> Stay weird fam.